I've taken it two nights in a row, taking two milliliters. I was wondering why I was getting so blasted. Yeah. Yo, welcome back to Urban Street 420. I'm Eros 40. Today we're removing excess chlorophyll from your alcohol-based tincture. And I know what you're thinking, we've already done this on the channel. However, I have new equipment, plus we're using last week's tincture made with the rosin pucks that we're gonna test at the end of this video with the tea check. That being said, I'm not gonna walk you through every step because I'm gonna to link to both videos down in the description. Number one, how to do the vacuum filtration process, but also number two, how to use the T-Check, that kind of thing. Now you're gonna see it in this video, I'm just not gonna take as much time explaining every little detail. With that being said, let's go to the other camera and check out the new gear, right? Number one, I've got a new flask and the flask has a little port right here to accept this vacuum hose. This is a specific vacuum comp, uh, pump by Stony Lab. In fact, Stony Lab is the one who made the Buckner funnel. It's the one who made the flask that I have, etc. This is a one liter flask right here with a, a joint right here for a vacuum hose, right? The vacuum hose connects to the back of the pump right here. And this vacuum pump is specifically designed to be used for this type of setup, right? Let's take the stopper off real quick. This is the Buckner funnel right here. You'll notice that there's a little adapter and what this is gonna do is create a seal when you put this on top of the unit. The other thing you'll notice is the Buckner funnel goes down below where this hose point is. So it's what it's pulling the air, right? Or the suction from the top, everything is gonna drop down into the flask. Now you're gonna need some filter paper. I have the filter paper right here and this filter paper is 94 millimeters, right? it should be slightly bigger than the inner diameter of your Buckner funnel. So I think the inner diameter of this is like 80 something, and this is 94. So this is the correct one to get for this particular Buckner funnel. However, if you got a bigger one, this is 100 millimeters, you could get 120 for example. You could even get 150, however, then you'd have to get a bigger flask. So make sure you get the one that works with the right flask and so forth. I'm gonna open this up. We're gonna take out one of these filter papers and that's the first part of this process is we're gonna add one of the filter papers to the Buckner funnel. Keep in mind, it is so hot right now. I've got the AC on, I still have a fan on. I'm dripping in sweat, it is so hot in this apartment. But I figured let's get this video done, baby. So first we're gonna take this filter paper. We're gonna make sure that we only take one because it looks like we took uh, two. And we're gonna drop this in. The first thing you're gonna notice is it doesn't go all the way in because it's slightly larger than the inner diameter. And that's good. You wanna have a slightly larger filter than the inner diameter of your Buckner funnel so that when you wet it, and you're gonna wet it with the same alcohol that you use to make your tincture, right? That's called priming the filter. And the reason you want the filter to be slightly larger than the Buckner funnel is so that it really creates a seal with all the diatomic Thomas Earth and the activated charcoal that we're gonna put in here. I'm gonna stop talking, but one thing I'll tell you is there's one teaspoon of activated charcoal already added to this. This was on a hot plate. Again, in the previous video, I explained this, but the hot plate was like 85 degrees Fahrenheit, mixing it with a, with a, a spoon don't use a metal stir bar, for example, because that is not going to mix it up. I don't know why it doesn't work as well, but you just wanna use a spoon to stir it up. Next, what we're gonna do, we'll put the filter paper, we're gonna prime it, then we're gonna build it with diatomous earth, like a quarter inch or half inch, and then we're gonna use activated charcoal, right? Once we pull that through and this is full, I'm gonna take the Buckner funnel off, we're gonna empty this out, and I realized I brought everything except for something to dump in, dump the liquid out that goes in here. So let's do this, let's prime the filter, I'll stop talking, I'll see you guys in a sec. I turned off the pump when the drips became much less. Now I'm not so worried that all of the alcohol got pulled through because the reality is when we dump in the tincture, any remaining alcohol there is gonna get pulled through. Now what I am going to do is I'm gonna take off the Buckner funnel right here and I'm gonna put it on top of this glass right here. And this is just a storage option because what I wanna do is disconnect this hose, take this over to the sink and clean this out and then I'll be back. I'll see you guys in a second, baby. All right, I cleaned the flask. And before I show you what the filter cake looks like, let me explain how to determine if there's any chlorophyll in your tincture. All you need is a black light, right? Shine the black light on your tincture. If it glows burgundy red, the reality is there's chlorophyll. Let's go to the other camera and you'll see what I'm talking about. So here's the tincture right here. When we shine the black light on it, it glows burgundy red. And of course, after we filter, it should no longer do that. Now let me grab the GoPro. I'll put it over the filter cake. And you'll see what the filter cake looks like, right? 
So you'll notice the activated charcoal looks very dry right now, and obviously when we pour the tincture on top of this and we turn on the vacuum pump, it's gonna start to pull everything through, right? Before we pour the tincture on top of the filter cake, make sure you stir it with your spoon. After stirring it with your spoon, pour it on top. Make sure as much can enter as possible. I'm lucky in this particular situation. This was about 200 milliliters, and you'll notice, look at the glass. Let's go to the other camera, you'll see what I'm talking about. Obviously, some of this coloring is from the charcoal, but some of this coloring is from the chlorophyll. You can see this really deep green hue here, right? So let me put this down, let's turn the vacuum pump on, and let's watch the magic happen. So as the tincture is being pulled through the filter cake with the vacuum pump, you'll notice that the alcohol took on a deep amber brownish color, right? No longer do we see any green in there. So for sure it's working, but this is gonna take a few minutes, right? Be calm, sit back, relax, spark up a joint, do whatever you do, right? Anyways, I'm gonna stop talking. We'll be back when this is pulled through. I'll see you guys then, baby. How will you know when it's done? Number one, the top of the filter cake will look dry. Number two, the vacuum gauge is gonna start dropping, meaning there's gonna be less pressure because it's easier to pull through. So as that's dropping, watch the drips. When the drips become one every five seconds or something like that, then I would turn off the vacuum pump. It looks like we're getting closer, we're almost there. I'll shut up, I'll see you guys then. I turned off the vacuum pump because at this point, the top of the filter cake is dry. I'm gonna show you with the GoPro in a second. Also, the drips coming from the funnel are every few seconds in between. I'm sure there's a few more drops in there, but I think we're good to go. So what I'm gonna do first is grab the GoPro to show you the filter cake. This is what the filter cake looks like. You'll notice it looks extremely dry, right? You'll also notice that on the sides of this is quite green. So obviously there was a lot of chlorophyll in there. All right, let's see if there's any chlorophyll left in the tincture. I'm gonna take the Buckner funnel off, I'll remove this vacuum hose, and let's take the UV flashlight or black light and let's, let's check it, right? And now when you look, there's none. Let's go to the other camera. Notice that when I, when I aim the, the black light at this, we no longer see any dark burgundy red in here. We're good to go, huh? So I'm gonna put the UV flashlight down. I'm gonna grab this tincture, we'll swirl it around. Now when I smell this, I do not smell any chlorophyll. What I'm gonna do is swirl this around, drop it in this cup, and the reason I'm putting the, the tincture in this cup right here is because that will be easier to take some of it out to test it, right? Yeah, baby, like that. Oh, yeah. It's been a little while, guys. <laughs> Anyways, so I'm gonna put this uh, flask down right here. We've got the tea check right here. Let's open this puppy up. All right, I'm gonna dilute the tincture by a multiplier of five. And what that means is I'm gonna put two milliliters of ethanol, the same ethanol or alcohol that was used to make the tincture, and I'm gonna put half a milliliter of the tincture. That way it's 20% of the total power, so I can multiply by five at the end. If you have questions about that, leave them in the comments, but the reality is I have a bunch of videos on the tea check, so I'm not gonna talk about it that much. Let's just do it. Oof, 12.4 milligrams, let's go to the other camera. Now remember, this tincture was diluted by a multiplier of five, so we take 12.4 and we multiply that by five. That gives us 62 milligrams, if I'm not mistaken. 62 milligrams per milliliter this tincture is. I've taken it two nights in a row, taking two milliliters. I was wondering why I was getting so blasted. It's because it's 124 milligrams. <laughs> Anyways, this tincture is fire, yo. Anyways, guys, gals, everyone, I hope you learned something from this video. You had a little bit of fun. I'm back. My sister and my niece were visiting for the last week. I was spending time with them, so I wasn't as focused online. So please excuse me, but I'm back. We got some reviews coming. I'm gonna do the adaptable probably tomorrow or review on that or the next day. Stay tuned for that, guys, gals. Hey everybody, I hope you liked this video. If you did, please like, share, comment, subscribe. You know the deal, baby. Woo! Be an extra, you know.